Hello and welcome back to Fred in his shed. Um, I do apologise if I sound a little bit croaky, a little bit off when I'm making this video. I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment, unfortunately. Got a couple of infections, so I do apologise for that. This video moves on from the last video, which is kind of unusual for me. But anyway, as you remember on the last video, and if you didn't see it, I'll put a little pop-up on the top now if you want to go back and just have a look at that but we had a new breaker we had Phil come on from Bushy on a brand new 6900N and a few of you commented that you weren't keen on the 6900N standard Roger bleep it's it's very harsh and it's very loud and we'll have a listen to it in a minute for those of you that have not heard it but yeah it's not good and when I first got my 6900 I switched on the Roger Bleep and very quickly people said, oh God, Fred, that was, I'll turn that off. And I'm not really a, a, that much of a fan on, of Roger Bleeps, to be honest, not on sideband. I think they've got their place on FM, but I don't dislike them, but I'm not a great fan of Roger Bleeps, but certainly the 6900, the standard Bleep, isn't, isn't very good. But you can change it. You can go into some of the settings um, originally I did have a little look at that and I couldn't really find anything that I liked to be honest and I had some audio issues to sort out when I first got my radio and just forgot about it but for people starting out and even my radio now because it's on standard settings if you turn on that Roger bleep it really isn't very good and in someone in the comments uh, John I do look at the comments I don't always reply um, you got to understand that although it's a very small YouTube channel I get comments from videos going back sometimes seven eight years so they can build up a little bit especially if I leave them for a couple of days but I do read the comments and you do see that I give you the thumbs up you know that I've read the comments anyway John was ever so kind John came on and John made a suggestion for the Roger Bleep settings that he said does improve things so in this video we're going to go in to the menu system on the 6900 I'm going to show you the menu the Roger Bleep menu because it's not that kind of obvious especially if you have you buy one of these second hand you don't get a manual although you can go online 6900 PDF you can get a manual online to download but yeah we're going to try out John's settings and we're going to see if that improves things and if they're worth keeping or not so uh, that's what we can do right firstly though using the little present room in here we're going to have a listen to the standard roger bleep setting that comes with the radio and i think you'll agree with me it's pretty bloody awful all right here we go then so it's going to switch yeah the roger bleep switched on so this is the standard roger bleep yeah and as you can see that really is quite loud and especially if you're like me you wear headphones that really does sort of drill into the back of your skull so we don't like that so right I'm going to show you now I'm going to go into the menu system on here and I'm going to show you how to change it and we're going to try John's recommended settings and we'll see if that is an improvement press and hold your function button on the radio and then just keep pressing it again to scroll through the menu now the first one you're looking for is RBF which is Roger Bleep Frequency there's quite a few to get through it's not all that clear is it there you go now as you, as you see here it's set to 1050 that is the frequency if you make this number smaller then the frequency will drop and if you make it higher well you've guessed it yeah the frequency will go higher so John recommends to go up to 2700 so you simply turn the channel select it's going to take a little while obviously once you've found these menus you can play about with this to your heart's content and find something that you like but we're going to try John's settings and see what we think so there we go we're going to go to 2700 and leave it there and then the next one we're looking for is RBT which is the next thing on the uh, menu there and that's Roger bleep timeout this is how long the bleep will last and uh, John recommends to drop that down to 300 so Roger bleep time 300 there we go give that a set let's uh, have a listen to that one right here we go then this is the John settings <coughs> 
and as you can tell straight away that's a lot shorter and it's higher as well a bit like the high tone bleep you used to get on the older radios so if I put some audio in yeah testing uh, one two one two testing one two three I think that's much better I, I like that um, they're certainly not so invasive it's not as loud and it's not as long and of course you can change that if you just increase that RBF number you could make that a little bit higher but personally I don't think that's too bad I think I'd probably keep it and then the timeout 300 um, yeah 300 sounds all right to me so I hope that's it I hope that's in you know interesting like I say just go through your menus RBF Roger bleep, Roger bleep frequency 2700 and then the next one RBT Roger bleep timeout fit um, 300 is standard as 500 I think that's much much of an improvement and you shouldn't upset too many people with that as always give me the thumbs up if the video is helpful thank you for tuning in loads of videos on the 6900 on the channel if you're new to the channel maybe consider me a sub i'd appreciate that but uh, as for now fred with a croaky voice cheers thanks for watching please 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 stay safe catch you on the next one cheers guys